I have to perform a little bit of retconning here. The three one-hour episodes that came before this one were all shot on February 1st, not on the 8th. This is the first hour of our fifth game session, also known as episode four for us, which took place on February 8th. If you'll recall, the first, the very first episode of this was a recall of the first three game sessions that we had, and then that one was game session four. Uh, those three videos were the remainder of game session four. It's easy to misstate facts when you're stretching a single se game session out over three hours of video time. Of course, to most of you, that's not going to mean anything. However, for those of you who find this information important and necessary, I apologize for my misstatement. In our previous episode, the largest incident of the game thus far, and a new top 10 role-playing incident for me out of my 30 years of gaming, was the reality burst card laid on the table at the beginning of the last combat round. Had that drama card come at a later time, not on day one of this new possibility war, it likely would have been of little effect in the area. However, coming within the first three hours of the invasion turned out to be devastating. Most of the non-player characters, all but Lena, Vanessa, and Isabel, who served... Uh, because they had already been drained of possibility energy when the Living Land Maelstrom Bridge crashed, in, crashed into City Field on Manhattan Island and started the possibility war for our players, they could not handle the reality burst. In essence, their bodies uh, were the remainder of their possibility energy, none left to face another transformation, and as such, they vanished in individual puffs of blue and red smoke and were blown away on the gentle winds. Now, as we prepare to uh, get into the next round of combat versus uh, a Tyrannosaurus Rex with an Adenos Rider among Adenos Warriors and a Gotak, a Death Priest of the Living Land. Here are the reactions of our players and the continuing of combat. Shall we join them in the middle of the action? Welcome back to Act 2 of the Day 1 Living Land Adventure. Uh, by Ulysses Spiel. Tonight we introduce Blair, father to Connor and brother-in-law to Ginger, and a very long time toward player. It is extremely unfortunate that he will only be able to play in tonight's game session, though we will always leave space for him to return to the game. His character is a cyber priest from the cyber papacy known as Father Francois Aquinas. Welcome, Blair. If you'll remember the last hour of our fourth game session, which was the last episode uh, in this series. Uh, we began talking about how we might incorporate Blair's character, and unfortunately we're not able to go as far uh, as we wanted to. Uh, Blair simply ends up being unable to join us on, on most nights, but hopefully he can join us in the future. Some of our technical problems have been solved, or they're on their way to being solved, such as the cracking problems with Craig from Discord and measuring in meters in Roll20. Uh, some of the most important words and sentences in, in this episode were cut out as a result of missteps with Craig, though in Discord's defense, a lot of folks were playing on, sat on Saturday nights, are playing on Saturday nights, which degrades quality for everyone. Problems like these are corrected in the future as I learn to use programs and hardware better and will be further uh, corrected when we start the, with OBS Studio and probably further corrected when we start with um, Foundry VTT. Listen in as our players perform a recount of the last few game sessions, especially with the most recent information. Now recording. Did everybody Hello, hear that? Craig. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. Greetings, Craig. Okay. I always like his robotic voice when it joins. It's kind of creepy, mm -hmm. but also cool at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's the truth. Okay, Blair, would you please introduce yourself for our listeners? I'm sorry, say again. Please introduce yourself for our listeners. Um, Yes, I am the Blair. <laughs> okay. Uh, long time Orc fan. Uh, 
been listening to your broadcast now for the uh, past two weeks. So, uh, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, just loving the show. All right, fantastic, and uh, uh, we'll get around to introducing Francois, your character, uh, when it's time when you think it's time for him to kind of make an appearance. Um, otherwise, for for all of my players who were here last week, go ahead and regale us with what happened. Now, the reason I'm not telling you is because um, I don't want to give something away, and I have a bad habit of, of doing that. So you get to tell me what happened last week so that I can <laughs> and do something about the rest of it. Oh, so you're uh, not going to tell us about the tippy-toeing T-Rex right behind us. Huh. All right. So, so tippy-toe. <laughs> So, so let, let me see if I remember this correctly. If, if I remember right, uh, we all rush forward, and we grabbed the Gaunt Man and threw him off our planet. And the eternity war is over. So, you know, we that won. was a short war. That was a, that was a short <laughs> war. Yeah, very short. Totally happened. Totally. I, really happened. Thought, I, I, I totally thought I dreamt that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what uh, really happened was. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were yeah. like rats off a sinking ship. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there but... was the. Ferry boat in the Hudson River. Mm -hmm. I think we're starting a little bit too far back. I it, what happened yeah. last week? We already went over that entire kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, we uh, after <laughs> we escaped from the uh, uh, what are those things called that care, that were carrying the dead guys? The Gotax. Yeah. The go -tax. Go -tax. Yeah. Oh. Reverb. Reverb. Yep. Somebody's getting it. It's not me. Okay. I don't know. As I, I was saying, after we escaped the goat tax, we kind of, we continued on our way to the uh, hospital, where we and we got to a point where we could turn right, no left, and uh, head down to an intersection which was barricaded, or to keep on going and then turn left to get to the hospital. Yes, yeah. yes. There, there was a. Uh... A crowd of primitive, uh, primitive, primitive earthers, ah, silly monkeys, <laughs> uh, that were um that had like you know barricaded off a, a section of street, and, and we, I mean right there, two blocks from the hospital, can probably see the building, and you know they're there, and everybody seemed reluctant to approach them. I'm not sure why. And, you know, as we're sitting there, me trying to figure out why we're not just going up there and like going uh -uh, and like, you know, get out of our way and moving on through. I, I'm, I don't know. But, hey, uh, y'all know this planet, not me. Uh, uh, so well, as we're yeah. sitting there, as we're sitting there doing that, all of a sudden, a T-Rex with a rider stomps on everybody. Sprawling through. Uh, the, yeah. the barricade, which seemed to do nothing to help against a giant T-Rex. Not a big enough barricade. <laughs> <laughs> or sturdy enough. Or sturdy enough. Uh, yeah. yeah, but um, it, it was definitely attacking the people there. So I, I was motivated to begin or to try to help them. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. when, when half our party just kind of erupted into dust. And I'm a little no, no, nonplussed no, no, at this point. We, we're not there yet. We kind of came down for a few rounds. We were attacking the dying, you know, dying sword and its rider with absolutely no luck. We, uh, uh yeah, and yeah the, the, what, um, uh, after uh, like a third round of combat, uh, our lovely DM, to all praise he, <laughs> the mighty one, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, brought out a reality burst uh, uh, drama card. A, a reality surge. Yeah. No, it, 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 the card was actually reality burst. Yep, that and was I'm going to cause a reality <laughs> surge, which made everybody who, uh, you know, dis to disconnect technically. Mm -hmm. Well, the uh, character, our party and everybody else there was already disconnected. <laughs> And when you disconnect, when you're disconnected and you're not reality rated, you uh, kind of just turn to dust like a Thanos snap, it seems. Right. At least in this uh -huh. game. 
<laughs> so and, we get all, all the people who were fighting in the barricade have died and turned to dust. All the people who were trying to save died and turned to dust. And uh, the only people who are left are are us, uh, Lena, mm -hmm. Isabel, and uh, Van. Now, it, Isabel, real quick, Isabel had her crisis right as this was taking place. I oh, guess. Yeah. So she she was saved just in the nick of time mm -hmm. uh, with that. However, I do believe that every single one of us rolled our reality skill and failed. <laughs> uh, let, let, let's check. Uh, yes, yes, we did fail. We all failed. Which, which according to the card, uh, you lost one possibility in that particular instance. Yep, as, rea as reality rated characters, we lost a possibility. Right. Uh, everybody else w was 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 just absorbed into the great ether. Their possibility energies going to fuel the chaos that's making this machine happen. Mm -hmm. uh, or something like that. Or something like that. And, uh, uh, your lizard brain can't necessarily wrap its uh, tendrils around that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, however, on, on the plus side, we are we are really hoping that uh, since the um, uh, since the 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 Adenos were probably not per, uh, possibility rated either, and they would have been hit by this, uh, they might not be disconnected, but they should be stunned or um, take, take two stunned, take two Shock. stunned or stymied, whatever, whatever it was that Shock. the card did. And call me in the morning. Oh yeah, actually they did take shock. Every one of them yeah. took two shock, including the Tyrannosaur. Yeah, and um, it's just that they it, didn't disconnect because it's their own reality. Mm -hmm. But if if we're lucky, the the uh, good. If we're, if we're lucky, that they will decide that they don't want to have any, or that, that they have had enough for uh, for at least a few minutes. And they'll go their way, we'll go our way, and um, <laughs> and uh, we oh, wish for thinking, yeah, yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Also, sorry, folks, for the people listening for that reverb, it's going to be a bit of a constant problem, yeah. We're, we're, we're trying, trying to figure, figure out, out the problem that. now, so hopefully, we'll be uh, gone by the next time. Uh, well, continue, okay. all right. Uh, well, you know, at that point, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're all, I mean, we, we're, we're all pretty stymied. I mean, our entire little mob, uh, just, just turned to dust. Uh, my, my girlfriend's son just turned to dust. Um, meat I, shields I, just turned to dust. Uh, that, that is callous. That is, <laughs> it's that true, is, but it's that, is sim that is simply callous. <laughs> you silly monkey. You know? It's true. Yeah. yeah. So we. So you know. Meanwhile, I'm 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 like you know. Oh, uh, I have no idea how distraught Lena is at this moment. Um, yeah. she is is very stymied. As a matter of fact, I need to go ahead and add that to her. Uh, let's see. Yeah, very stymied. Four right there. So she would be at a minus four to do anything. On top of that, she's uh, she she cannot figure out what just happened, and she kind of looks to you for for some guidance now. Before we go any further, is that what everybody kind of remembers from last week? Yeah. Uh, Ginger, do you have anything to add? No, no. Uh, my my character is, well, seeing the people that she was just talking to turn to dust and not Isabel for some strange reason. Uh she still doesn't know why, but Isabel was acting um, fuzzy and self. Hard, hard to remember things, and then suddenly she's with it, and everybody else turned oh, yeah, down. You guys, like, like when she became back to herself, you know, reality yeah, she rated. Came back to, that's you guys right. She kind of like, came back to herself. You guys yep. were like saying the Very anthem so. and pledges and stuff like that and shooting at the dinosaurs, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah. Um, so she came back to herself and I, I know that I had to do a reality test. So I probably felt the weird push myself. And at that Everybody. moment, at that moment, 
uh, some people like Isabel recovered and some people like Wade, the young child, uh, turned to dust. Yeah. This I, is I've, true. I've, I've made a note of that. I don't know what it means, but <laughs> uh, other than I'm, I'm absolutely shocked and uh, don't don't really know what to do at this point. Uh, that, that's pretty much like the same as my character. After kind of seeing all that, I would just be like, "Oh, oh." Yeah. Um, okay, so let me let me pose a question to Mo then. Yes. Just seen a bunch of these monkeys go up in smoke. Actually, the only two that you would have seen go up are Finn and Cam, the the ones who were primitives. Yep. Uh, and it was this blue red smoke. How would Mo think about this? Uh, Mo is Mo is uh, freaked out. Mm -hmm. I've I don't think I've ever seen this before. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know he's you know sort of torn between you know like you know the ferocity of the uh, of the realm and the fact that we are now seriously outnumbered. Mm -hmm. and, and primitive as I am, I can I, I can count one two more than me. <laughs> one two three lots <laughs> one two more than me all right oh boy that's big <laughs> he, 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 oh boy that's big uh even at my best i cannot take so many yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i am not going to have you guys stymied or very stymied um because the the dinos uh who are down here among the barricade uh, have also just seen this thing, and they're not sure what to do about it either. They've never seen anything like it. So they're kind of taking stock of the moment and trying to see if uh, if maybe uh, this set of monkeys is more powerful than it thinks. So I don't have any reason not to tell you that because you wouldn't know it otherwise. But uh, is there anything before we get started with the, the, the first round of combat for tonight uh, that any of you want to do? I want to start to run away, like try to get everybody to run away. Okay. okay. I, 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 I'm not going to fight him on that one. Okay. I, I mean, go like, let's go that way away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, we might have to uh we might have to do something with that. Uh, but we'll have to figure out what we can do. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and pull a card. Uh but oh, I wanted to explain something. I and and if there's any Ulysses spiel of listening to this, um I'm not trying to put a downer on on your living land adventure, but there's way too much combat. <laughs> <laughs> we have been in combat constantly since the ferry and it's it's just too much i've been trying to throw in breaks and it ain't working so let me go ahead and pull a card in, 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 in their defense we are dealing with the fact that we are right in the middle of the initial surge of like the invasion i mean there are we are literally where the dinos are coming down and spreading out from absolutely yeah, right. <laughs> true true it is an invasion right now yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and, and, it, and we're going too into it, not too much away from it. Nah, right. I, I think that's 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 hurting us. Um. Okay. <sighs> Let's see if we can do something here. Okay. So dramatic. It's a dramatic round, and the villains get to go confused. When it's your turn, players may not use cards from their pools during the round. They may still gain destiny cards from approved actions and place them into their pool normally. Uh, the only approved action for this round is attack. Okay? But we have to determine something, in it, and you won't be able to determine it until it's your round. So what I need to do is let's get this Tyrannosaur Open. Uh, I, I do have a question. I do have two cards in my pool already. That's yes. what you're talking about. I can't use them. <laughs> uh, yes, this round you won't be able to use any cards. Okay. So I know that's a pain in the tuchus, but yes. okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, so the Tyrannosaur, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Why not? Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11. So the Tyrannosaur, with its rider, uh, oh, I suppose the rider would be here, huh? Uh, uh, starts coming down the street towards you, and it is very, very roars. Uh, let's see. But it doesn't really do anything beyond that. Uh, let's see. Adenos Warriors, let's get this guy popped open. I don't know who has bows and who doesn't, but they do have spears. So let's see. They can move 9 and 27. Okay. That's okay. I have the shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. So wait a minute. Where's... Well, it's all right. I had a total of seven of those. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Actually, he's going to go there. And I made a show of making sure it was loaded earlier, so it's fully loaded. Yeah. How many oh, shots well, does it have? Uh, the magazine capacity on that should be a three. Okay. You should have three rounds. Take the plug out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am either too young or that's too new for me to get. Well, uh, no, not really. Uh, shotguns have plugs in their magazines so that you can only load a certain number of rounds. Uh, I think it's a safety issue. I, uh, I don't remember. Uh, it, 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 and largely a hunting issue as well that they, uh, you're only allowed three rounds for hunting, but it's a tubular magazine. So, you know, you're just inserting the rounds up inside of a tube. So there's literally like a stick at the end of the tube that prevents you from loading mm -hmm. five shells in there. And most will come with a five shell long tube, but have a two shell long stick at the end of it so that you can only put three in it. Yeah. Right. My dad literally had two shotgun shells turned upside down in as the as the block in his um in, in his uh shotgun so if we ever ran out he could take it out and put those two shells in his shotgun and use them. <laughs> it's not a bad idea that's no, man, I, I might end up i might end up doing that with this shotgun conveniently it's really easy to fix that the, the cop would probably be able to show you how um, yeah in this and, particular instance, she'd probably be happy to do it, too. Yeah. Uh, and if you buy extensions, because when I was in the sheriff's department, I got an extension for the shotgun I still have. And mine now holds seven rounds instead of just five. Wow. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's for, can't use it for hunting. It would be illegal for a hunting magazine, uh, shotgun. But um, uh, for home defense, at least in Georgia, they don't care. You know, yeah, I could, if I could fit a thousand in there, I would, but it would probably be really heavy, <laughs> really heavy, cumbersome, <laughs> and there'd probably gonna be like memes about it. Yeah, I imagine so. No. All right, hang on. Oh, pff, shouldn't have done that. I moved that. Wow, the car is moving on its own. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was. Well, it, it had. It just had a dinosaur walk all over it. I mean, it's... <laughs> which is why I'm killing it right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So let's see. I need to right click and put that back on the map layer. There we go. Okay. You can't assign a, a token marker to something unless it's on the token layer. So it's, it's just weird. I've mm. got th three layers, a map layer, a token layer, uh, tokens and objects, and then a, uh, a GM's layer where I can hide things. <laughs> 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 okay. So the villains have gone. They are, the, based on how the Tyrannosaurus is, is moving, or how the Beast Rider is having that Tyrannosaur move, they're not running, okay, <laughs> towards you. Um, but the Tyrannosaur roars at this particular moment and is close enough to cause dread. So I need all of you to make a fear check. And how do I make a fear check? <laughs> Isn't it uh, willpower? I think it's just willpower, yeah, or spirit. Yeah, it has a willpower spirit. If you don't have, if you don't have willpower, it's just spirit. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I have to run into burning life. buildings for a living. I have one point of willpower. 
What's the difficulty? Uh, uh, the difficulty is a 10, just a standard 10. Okay. Okay, failure. So Ginger failed. Okay, so Ginger, you are a minus two. Stymied. Okay. So we'll we'll take that off of you probably next round. But that's what the fear test does. Uh, you know what? I really wish they would have done the index for this a lot better. It kind of really sucks. Uh, let's see, damage, combat and action options, environmental hazards. I don't think environment is going to cover it. <clears throat> I want to make sure that I'm doing this the right way. This is the first time I've ever checked in Torg Eternity. So, injury, defeat wounds, shock. Oh, fine. Um, did I heal the one wound I collected from last round? Oh, no. Not even close. Um, if it's a wound, it's it's going to take a lot to heal. You actually have to make a roll for it. Uh, your, the shock points, as long as you're outside of combat, on the other hand, those all uh, should have healed. So... I am pretty sure I didn't have any shock. Okay. Um, well, unless you guys came in and, and rearranged yeah, wait, your stuff, while, uh, you don't have any. No, wait, I, uh, I soaked it, if I recall. Uh, yes, I believe, yeah, that's right. I believe you did. Okay. Yeah, I was wounded briefly, but I'm sorry. Sh I, I, uh, soaked it. All right. No, okay. so I'm at seven. And ze well, zero shock and zero wounds. I just took two shock though for what? Uh, four. Uh, two. Sh uh, no, not two shock. You didn't take any shock. You you from, are are from. minor stymied. So a minus two stymied. <sighs> okay. So I have to find something real quick so that I can search faster. Command post, role playing games, Ulysses Spiela, Torg PPW, and Eternity. Come on. Every... Okay, control F. Oh, get back here. I'm trying to type things I shouldn't be typing. Oh, no. Really? You know what? Fear is what I make it. So <laughs> yeah. Blair, Blair says that um, minor stymied. I think I'm down to on my next rolls for an action. Yes, for the remainder of until your turn, not until the end of this round, but until your next turn. So uh, let's see. Got that. That's done. I'm going to close this book. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to I'm going to rewrite their end. Because <laughs> uh, they don't know how to index. I haven't. I haven't come across a, a game studio that knows how to index yet. Nothing. So, for okay. God here. What's that? <laughs> for God here. Huh. And God has spoken. Exactly. Well, yeah. Okay, there it is. When a character first encounters power or spirit test or be very stymied some particularly ter terrifying creatures may modify this result so you are you are very stymied so minus four not minus two uh i wanted to check on that and make sure because i don't want it to come back and i'm very stymied yes instead of minus two you got a minus four and i still haven't redone that yet i've got to rebuild that uh that icon okay so and on top of that you're going to be up to be your turn, so no words to use. Now, Chris. Yes. Yes. Um, how are you turning around and running? Are you screaming, oh God, oh God going to die? Or are you uh, silently going? I'm more like uh, I think it's like okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody, let's <laughs> go. Very adamantly pointing down the road. It's like Run, run, run. Add a couple curse words. Run, run, <laughs> run. Okay. Uh, you guys are, are 
able to move your full movement, uh, which is your your character's dexterity, uh, in squares because each one of those is, uh, is a yard. I know they've got everything measured in meters, but again, roll twenty doesn't account for meters. Um, so if uh, figure out how you want to go and and go. If if you don't want to go, tell me what you want to do. Going. I'm going. Okay. Yeah, where will you go, Chris? <laughs> Just running down the street. <laughs> I mean, huh? I'm getting out of here. All right. like, well, you um... guys can follow me if you want, but I'm moving on down the road. I'm behind it's... this this car for cover. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh try to help my friend. So I'm going to shoot at the T Rex. Okay. All right. Well, I, you're probably at short range by now. Okay. So, matter of fact, uh, let's take a measurement here. Uh, from peaches to the creature, you're about, yeah, about 34 feet. So uh, you're not too far away. 11 yards, if I've read that thing right. Yeah. Uh, so what it, oh, yeah, that might actually still be medium. For, for a shotgun, I believe so. For a shotgun, yeah. So, all right, get you can, back up you there. can step gotta... forward a, a square. I think you can t- step forward and mm-hmm. still shoot. Yeah, you can move up to your dexterity and around without any penalties. Oh, that's that's what I forgot to say, Chris. Um, yes. you you can move either your dexterity, which is your basic movement, or up to three times your dexterity. If you just move your dexterity, there's no penalty. If you move up to three times your dexterity, there's a minus two penalty. So that it's up to you. If you're not worried about penalties, you can. I'm booking it. I'm booking it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Deal with her, and then it'll be my turn. Okay. So. Yes, the shotgun. Yeah, you're at long range, or not long, medium range. So that's I, a I, penalty of two. I stepped up uh, from where I was. Is that any okay. closer? Is that close well, enough? Let's see. It, it's about the same. If we're going from the middle to the middle, uh, it's, it's about the same. So if you... How about there? See. That ought to do it. That'll, that'll put you into short, so no penalty there. Now... The Tyrannosaurus, where did I pull him up at? There he is. Uh, let's see. His dodge is a 10, um, but he's a large creature, so that's a uh, minus four. Uh, oh, uh, Blair, in in uh, roll 20, the, the character sheet and stuff does not account for bonuses and penalties, so I'm taking them away from the defenses or adding them to uh, instead of figuring out what the actual uh, number would be, so right. So my difficulty to hit with the shotgun is should be six. Because well, well. Now wait a minute, wait a minute. You're you're also using a shot. So uh, <laughs> that's a four to hit. It, all right, but remember, I'm stymied. Okay. Uh, oh hey, why am I marking her? I didn't even roll for her yet. Hang on. Objects. Oh, I got to go back to select move. I added, uh, I added your very stymied to the wrong place. So <laughs> there you go. All right. So minus four. So that's going to cut out the the bonus that you get from the T Rex. So you've got a target of eight. Eight to hit. Submit. There we go. Okay, attack with the Remington. Good success. You'll get a plus one bonus die to uh, to hit. But remember, <laughs> it's a 20. Now, I, I never did ask if you were trying to hit the T-Rex or the Beast Rider. We, we've got to be careful with that. Oh. Um, which one were you actually intending to hit? Uh, I just said T-Rex. I, I, okay. I really think that I was so frightened at the roar uh, that my firefighter instinct is to turn and shoot it in the face. Okay, whatever it is, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shove this shotgun shell down its throat. Um, uh, 
Okay, so you may still be able to hit the Beast Rider as well, uh, depending on, on how well you hit, because this is kind of a cloud weapon. Okay. It is. So yeah. the more the merrier. And, and I did get in range because I knew that I would be more effective uh, closer, even in my panic. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I, I'm I'm terribly, terribly afraid it's going fast enough to eat Chris. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I want to, you know, if it's going to eat something, it's going to suck on my shotgun. Okay. All right, fair enough. So, uh, since you were aiming basically center mass of the T-Rex, uh, let's see what you get for... Uh, uh, now, don't forget the, the bonus on that is a... Uh, 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 not the bonus. Think, Paul. The defense that you're going after is a 20. So... All right, so one bonus die. Mm -hmm. Submit. Target toughness is 20? Correct. 20? It's a T-Rex. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, that, so it takes a shock. One shock? Uh-huh. It's a 20 you're going against. Uh, now, well, I want to see something real quick. Hang on. Um, you know what? Here's how I'm going to do it. Let's go with... Okay. Okay. Um, if it rolls a one or a six, it also hits the Beast Rider. Okay, so it only hit the T-Rex. All right, um, because that Beast Rider, of course, is really small, and you were kind of aiming center man. So that's that. And then I guess it is, okay, Connor running. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to have, hmm? Nothing. Okay. Uh, Vanessa, as you're running past, is like, what's going on? She sees the T-Rex, but she's like, where are you going? I'm saying, um, I don't know. Just move it. <laughs> run. Um, okay, so Mo, it's your turn. What are you going to do? All right. Uh, well, I, I, I heard up Lena, scoop her up if I have to. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh we're gonna my go. Uh, see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so Nine, you're two. basically carrying Lena with you. Yeah, if I have to. Okay, she's she's still very confused, very dazed. So, how far are you moving? Uh, there. That's as far as I can go. Your full run. Yep, my full run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I forgot something. Uh, where is, okay, Wade is actually, would have disappeared from over here. So that's my fault. Didn't I put him on the, on a, a map layer? Well, I could anyway. have swore he was, but. Yeah, I could have swore he was too. That's strange. Um, okay, so Vanessa is actually going to go with, uh, go with you uh so that's uh i forgot how much she moves i haven't opened up her sheet in a while okay so i doubt she's nine. slower than me yeah well <laughs> <laughs> my well, what's your running okay. speed my ponderous butt has a dex of six so you faster can faster than you 18 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like I said, I I, I I am ponderous, but powerful. Uh, okay, so... This is ponderous, man. Truly ponderous. All right, so let me back up just a little bit. Before I get to uh, uh, Isabel, uh, I want to make sure that I address Francois. Now, Blair, do you think you're ready? Sure. Okay. You hear... Basically, what Chris said, okay, you don't know who Chris is, but you hear this voice going, you know, that sort of thing. Um, uh, what did you say, in... Chris? Say it again. Yeah. Run. This direction. Go. Run. 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 Go. What? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Add a couple cur curse words. Nope. Go. Go. Run. <laughs> Run. I'm out of here. Nope. And Just you hear, no. 
you 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 yeah. actually hear the voice kind of clearly uh and and then it starts to fade <laughs> <laughs> Like, and then, I just go running by. And then uh, uh, you you heard gunshots just a moment ago, which is what kind of helped wake you up, but it was more the possibility draw away from your body, which is why you've only got two possibilities right now instead of three. Um, but uh, anyway, you also heard a massive roar. And and it's a roar that you've never heard before. What do you do? Uh, get out of the vehicle towards the sidewalk side as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay, you you go to push the door open. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a blast! You go to push the door open, and uh, there's a young lady that you have just pushed out of the way. Um, and it's not obvious, uh, that she's anybody in particular because, you know, she's off duty right now, but, uh, she's like, who are you? The brown car to the south there. Oh no, 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 no. The, 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 I remember I was saying the blue car towards the, uh, with the rust on it. Oh, Oh. and you had, uh, you, you were actually seeing Isabel's form here, uh, from outside the window. And that's where you heard the gunshots from that were very close. All right. Okay. You running with us? <laughs> so, how is Isabel taking this? That some some guy just tumbles out of the car beside her. Well, that that's what I was saying. Who are you? Run for it! It will eat us all. <laughs> 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 okay, since you just got out of the car, I'll give you uh, half of your running distance if you want to run, or half of your dex distance if you don't. <laughs> uh, am I disconnected currently? You are presently disconnected, yes. Uh, sure, so I can't use anything then. Uh, well, what you can do if you want to is spend a possibility. Now, I know that you're down one possibility already, but... If you spend another one, it'll it'll reconnect you. You'll be all right. I better reconnect then. Okay. Um, so, um, I want to zoom into your character real quick, and I want to show you something. Uh, if you've got a minute now, being a, a storm knight, of course, you already uh, have these. Um, hi. Uh, my wife Sarah just got home. Uh, hello, Sarah. Hello. Well, she can't hear you because I'm in under headphones. So they all said hello. They were all about it. So hello. John is going to give you time. To... That's fine. John can give me a really hard time. <laughs> okay. So um, Blair, if you would zoom in on your token, please. Uh, okay. That's there. And uh, what you can do is while you've got that up, you can type uh, one. There you go. You've got it. Ginger was helping you, wasn't she? Yep. <laughs> Ginger, thank you. I was now, whispering in his ear, yes. Now, that's just for possibility energy. You do not have to use that if you don't want to. I just ask you to make sure that you keep up with your character sheet at Where the very least. Dinosaur? Yeah, I just uh, checked. I uh, fixed up my character sheet, and uh, yeah, it's a big, giant Tyrannosaurus Rex about to eat us. Yeah. I think that's usually the perfect time to uh, reconnect yeah. yeah, this is not the morning I wanted to have. <laughs> uh, I could, uh, okay. wake up next to a hot babe. I, I, I do like either. how you said, run for eat. <laughs> <laughs> run for eat. Uh, so, you're in the party now, kind of uh, impromptu. Uh, introductions can probably be done later. Okay. So yeah, now here's, is not the time. Now is not the time. So, Question, Peaches and Francois, are you going to run with everybody else? I I will next turn, yes. Okay, all right. Uh, what we're going to do in that case is we're going to turn this into a dramatic skill resolution uh, at that point. Uh, so there won't, there will be a new drama card coming up, but it will only be for the representation 
of uh, of finishing these up. Now I need to. Oh, I need to find something. Yes. OneDrive. Oh, my attack was successful. Did I get a card? Oh yes. As a matter of fact. No, no, you were. Uh, I'm glad you read that. Okay, let me get back to the cards. Oh, I didn't know the card. I can't do it. Destiny deck deal. One, two, ginger deal. Okay, and, thank you. Uh, and I was successful, so I'm going to put a card in my pool. Yes, absolutely. Well, everybody can put in their pool at the end of their turn. It's just earning cards may be different. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and hide that. But uh, I need to look something up. I'm trying to look something up real quick. Uh, where did I put it? Nope, that's not it. Torgor PPW. There we go. Okay. So come on. All right, let's line these up. I'm uploading some things. Give me just a moment. Ooh, that's huge. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load the steps up here now and then uh, delete them as, as we're going along. So the table might be crowded for just a minute. Uh, who's eating? Who has the bowl? That's okay. I am adding a card to my pool. <laughs> I know we can't use any cards this turn because I'm stymied mm -hmm. and oh. confused. But uh, next turn, at least I will have a, the card that I gained for the successful attack in my pool. Okay. Fair enough. You guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you guys Are were you answering to me. Well, card? I wasn't answering you because uh, Ginger was was already talking so i was like so who has the bowl that scraping across the bowl something or something it ain't me who has the what the bowl a spool, metal spoon i recognize yeah. that sound yeah i mean there's definitely the clinking of like a spoon in a bowl or something mm -hmm. i heard it too or, or a coffee uh, cup i, I just heard the cup get set down somebody was uh, eating i guess yes Ron. that was your dad connor Eating okay. his dinner. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is for Peaches, Isabel, and Francois, this is going to be a foot chase, basically. Okay. The the Tyrannosaur can very, very easily catch you all and eat you. Okay. But for the dramatic purposes of it, we're going to go ahead and use step eight, steps A, B, C, and D, and you don't even have to um uh Chris and Vanessa and Mo and Lena are not going to need to be a part of this because they're they can they can get away fairly easily therefore but the rest of you not so much so um good guys are on the right bad guys are on the left so what I want you to do I need to I'm just going to roll for the tyrannosaur warriors because the warriors cannot outrun the tyrannosaur and neither can you, technically. So let me get the Tyrannosaur out. All right, so here's how it's going to work. Um, if you have, oh, come on. If you have athletics or some kind of a skill that would allow you to, to move forward faster, you can do that. Let's see, what kind of skills are there that would be useful? I'll uh, begin to pray for the... Uh, for the uh, Will to move faster. For the will to move faster. Okay. Uh, I wish there were. Pu uh, I wish there was a push in this game, but they they removed the push. Yes, but I can uh, I can bless myself for different uh, attributes. That's true. That's very true. Now that bless. So I'm grabbing um, the speed to outrun this demon. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll it. All right, so it looks like it's going to be dex based for the running. So um, we're going to find out the blessing, if the blessing took for Blair, and then I'm going to have uh, all of you, Isabel, the three of you, including Isabel. Uh, don't need that. I need that. Don't really need that. Okay, and let me open up Isabel. There she is. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and roll for the Tyrannosaur, just a dex check. 
And uh, difficulty? difficulties are always going to be a 10. The, oh, no. Oh, that is not pretty. <gasps> Holy smokes. Oh, oh. That, that's not, that, that can't be good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> you uh, guys are going to have to fight. Okay. Yeah. You, you, tried, you try to start running. And, okay, here's what the Tyrannosaur does. Uh, have, all of you have seen Jurassic Park, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. The Tyrannosaur comes over and kind of steps on the vehicle. And, and and charges up and roars at all of you. And if you try to move left or right or backwards or anything like that, uh, it, it kind of shifts its weight to counter whatever it is you're doing or to dissuade you from doing whatever it is you're doing. Okay. Uh... <laughs> now, uh, Francois, you're turned around. I don't know why it did that. But there you go. Uh, so <laughs> now for those of you who are running away, you have not seen it yet, <laughs> but this is not good. This is, this is not good at all. Actually, I didn't even draw a card to see. And, oh, you guys are really going to hate me. Oh, cause that's a complication. Big, we're stymied again. Uh, no, 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 no. You're not stymied again. Um, Hot but, and humid. Yeah, hot and humid, the card, and it's got a complication to it. So, oh, I got <laughs> Okay, uh, complication. Failure subtracts one all further tests in the task. So if, uh, if you do not, oh, man, this is rough. So, <laughs> oh, you guys just did not get good cards, um, period. And I shuffled them. I did a machine shuffle, so it's not my fault. It's the machine's fault. Um, I blame the dice today. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the dice are the, just not liking you. The cyber pope strikes. <laughs> <coughs> uh, the cyber teamed up with Bart Ka and got aid from Lanala to come and kick your butt. Okay. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So. The, the beginning of the round is dramatic. Uh, villains go on step A of the chase. Uh, I rolled a total of 34, which gave me a bonus of plus 10. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, a good thing you didn't declare a target. would be inside its mouth at this point. Right, uh, exactly. Yay. Which, when added to the, the nine dexterity this uh, Tyrannosaur has, gives me a 19 total. Now, Blair, you, <laughs> ouch. So you're at, you're at a four case, but uh, the good news is the weapons that you have or the items that you have are not above your axiom, just the living lance. So that would be a one case. So you don't disconnect again. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get rolls for Peaches and Isabel. So just uh, a dex. The, um, would willpower keep me from running away? Uh, and maybe help me? It could, I suppose. You know, I could I, do my my fireman's chant, Chicos Caliente, oh, save wow. your ass, not kiss it. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> okay, so Isabel could technically run away. Okay. Uh, and and have a 19. It's it's an equal number. She wouldn't get caught. But I want to see how Peaches is going to do this. Your willpower. We could try for a push. Um. Um. Or I just use Dex. Uh, I I am wearing my armor, so I'm minus what? Uh, two shock. Uh, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Okay. Uh, not until the end of the round. Oh, okay, so, that's good. Yeah. And this round, wait, this round I can use my cards, yes? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, this, this round. Okay, good. Um, you guys are going to be stymied at the end of the round. Uh, and, you're, and the way that you get cards is by defend or taunt. So I've got to make a decision uh, for Isabel 
Uh, Francois failed, so he's not going to be able to get away. Peaches, let's uh, let's do a willpower and see how well you do. It's versus a target number of ten. Okay, hold on here. Um, this is just to try to help me uh, focus to run. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it may give you a bonus to be able to push yourself a little bit, but right. I, I don't know how much. And you said the difficulty was 10? The difficulty is a 10. Wow. Oh, my. Oh. Uh, you guys are screwed I, I, over I, I, there. I, I, I'm glad I'm, I just run away. Okay, uh, so. I am scared spitless. Is that it? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take a, a second here and kind of explain what is going on with Peaches and Francois. You have the two of you are literally quaking in your boots. Neither of you have seen it alive before, uh, and it's scaring you to pieces. The fact that there is a lizard man riding on top of it and seeming to guide its steps makes no never mind. Okay, the tyrannosaur is all teeth, all muscle, and it's there to kill you, but it's stopped right now. It has not attacked you when it could have. Well, well um, since I didn't get to, uh, I guess my actual was my prayer. Okay, I guess we have to wait the next round now, or what? E uh, yeah. Um, but what? Uh, how did your prayer come out? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, so uh, you still have not to actually run no uh, i've not run yet you, uh, could, you could still use up to one half your dexterity uh to move if you wanted to and that might help with the rest of the round um but you i know you know i wanted to uh pull out my sidearm and uh defend okay so the the following round uh is coming uh, you guys are all stymied until your next round, but it's a basic stymie. So, right. so yeah, I was going to defend this round, so I'll try to use the cards, a little bit of cover. It's going to come down and bite on me. Okay. And I'll, I'll defend as well. At least if I succeed, I'll get a card. Exactly. Okay, so you're, yeah, so all, you know what? Uh, Isabel decides to do the same thing. Just a, a basic defense. Okay, who's moving the card? Who's moving the card? Me. I'm, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing. Don't, uh, we, yeah, I'm not too serious about that stuff. I just like to mess with you guys. Uh, like, let's see. Touching me. <laughs> Mom. But we're in a different room. Okay, so let's see. I need, oh, active defense. <laughs> uh, a character may declare an active defense at any time as long as she has not round. Okay, so Francois, you won't be able to. Um, you won't be able to do an active defense. I mean, you can get down next to the car. Gonna, you know, I have a big head and little arms is not going to be able to bite you. Um, but that's not really an active defense. Uh, you can also perform simple actions as usual. The first time you're attacked, you roll, uh, you roll a bonus and apply it to all your defenses. So if you get attacked this round, so I need to see, well, I should have done that first. Hmm. Minimum bonus is a plus one. Okay. So let me, these guys can't get at you anyway. So I'm, I'm just going to move them up. Okay. I'm, but they're not going to attack. Okay. Is that all? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's all. All right, so um, there's actually not going to be an attack this round, uh, now that I'm thinking about it. But none of the three of you were really able to move. Let's see. That active defense carries on into the next round. So any character wearing armor whether it fatigues or not, suffers too shock. I'm not sure how to read that because, like uh, Peaches, your your uh, your coat uh, 
actually fatigues for plus one. So it says whether it fatigues or not suffers two shock. Does the armor, does her cup get uh, protection? Yeah, her, her fireman's jacket uh, offers protection. So, um, yeah, but it's it, got, it's got plus one shock because it fatigues. It it looks to me like it would just uh, override like the existing shock. That, that's that what it's it, looking it, like to me too. My armor, I don't think it caused. It it, it doesn't cause fatigue. Hold on. It um, does cause fatigue. Look at your sheet. It, it limits my decks. What it does. Um, because it's okay. bulky. Well, hang on a second. I, I can kind of point we'll it out to, look to you. That back up again. Okay, so. Uh, open up your character sheet. I have. And under armor, towards the middle of the page, it says tactical fire jacket. Or oh, fatigue tactical one. Fire. That's right. Yeah. Fatigue so one. what what that means is that if you take a fatigue result on anything, you actually take plus one. So okay. Where so instead of two? instead of two shock, I take three. Yeah. Well, no. Hang on, because I, I I agree with what Andrew is saying here. The code is not 100% clear. So it says any character wearing armor, whether it fatigues or not, suffers two shock. We're just I'm just going to have you suffer two. Uh, so you can you can reduce your shock by uh, by minus two, uh, unless you want me to do it. Oh, and I forgot about that. <clears throat> Isabel. Well, okay. I'm, I remember I'm only wearing the coat, not the pants. I figure I could run just fine. Yeah, you can run just fine, but it's still the the idea behind fatigue is that it helps kind of wear you out. Is is what it's doing? It's uh, it's because of the weight of the coat, because of the way it moves on you, the way it drags at you, it, etc. It's very very hot. And it's very very hot. That's exactly right. So, although being a firefighter, I think that's just a job hazard. Yeah, that that does happen. But so Isabel took two. Uh, uh, Francois, you take two. I don't have the armor. Uh, I know. Well, any character wearing armor. That's right. Okay. Wait a minute. Is Isabel wearing armor? Because I might have. Oh wait, she didn't yeah, I? She her, she's got vest. a Kevlar vest. So she's yeah. Got a Kevlar vest on. Yeah. So yeah, she took two. Uh, let's see, any character wearing armor? Well, you do have that uh, Trigon uh, yeah, cyber skill. That's like the, those are my bones. Yeah. Huh. Uh, more things that uh, that USI has to clarify. So okay, so I'm not going to have you take two shock because you're right. That's internal. That is your bones, and it's it's not supposed to weigh anything on you. So. Uh, let's see. Heroes are stymied. I already did the stymie. Uh, you stay, uh, Peaches, at the minus four for this round. Okay? Instead of going down to the minus two. So, let's see. Defend, taunt. Okay. Uh, Francois, you cannot defend. But, Peaches, you have an opportunity to do an active defense. Go ahead and roll your active defense versus, a say, a target number of ten. All right. Hold on. Defense. Where is, where is it dodge? Where's defense? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. You just roll the little die that's right next to your your value, okay? And it's probably going okay. to ask you which one you're going after, and you're going to use no, 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 no. which 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 die do I roll? Which which attribute? No, 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 no. Uh, on your character sheet at the yes. right of the page, you've got defenses. Then you got there. You go. Okay, she that rolled sixteen. Me. Oh, that was you? Well, yeah, I at the actually, far right. I, it, oh, I uh, see. Defense. Just yeah. roll it. All right. Yeah. Right. There we go. Okay. So, oof. Okay. So that's a bonus of one regardless. Okay. So let me uh, let me write this down real quick. Okay. Ginger. It was a success, yes. Plus one defense. Uh, yes. Success. So I will get a card. Yes. Your roll was an 11, which uh, actually gives you a plus zero. But the minimum for an active defense is a plus one. So I've got to remember that for the next round. So let me get you a card. Uh, I've got to uh, switch Yeah, tab. if you haven't noticed, I'm, I'm totally like into the cards. Cards I like. <laughs> Gimme. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> and I will, I will put one in my pool. Okay. <laughs> now, um, that's right. 
Francois, um, uh, Blair, you yeah. actually have an opportunity. Do you see the little separator I've got in your cards? Uh, click on your cards to kind of open yeah, those up. I see that. Okay. Uh, you when you press on those, you want to select all instead of by deck at the very top. Got it. And then you can take your Cosm card is going to have a picture on the bottom right or bottom center uh, uh, that displays right. the living land. Yeah, uh, I see that. I will not okay. Be so that's not a card you can put into your pool. Uh, but at the end of your round, at the end of each round of play, you can put one card from your hand into your pool. And that separator is there to help you delineate the two. Cool. But, Okay. Uh, Dad, have you uh, read your cards yet, or no? I did. Yeah, and because I had I had of my uh, perk plus a successful action last game, mm -hmm. I uh, and two successful actions this game. I have four cards in my pool. Whether or not I can play them is up you to you can. guys. Yeah, you, you you can play them unless you've got something like the last card that said you couldn't play them because of the complication. Correct. Or, no, uh, it wasn't I, the complication. I, it was the uh, confusion. And, and and believe me, I'm setting myself up for something truly miraculous. I don't know what it is yet, but it'll happen. <laughs> okay. All right. So, anything else to be done this turn? Uh, uh, not not related to them, but I am trying to get Chris's attention as he flees farther down the street. <laughs> And what are you trying to get my attention for? Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm like pointing at the uh, uh, at the large rock and frozen water above ground caves, trying to get you to go inside one. Oh, the buildings. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever those are. Yeah, yeah those things. Those things. I don't care what you call it. Okay, so like, here's what I'm like, going to do. Turn the corner, and it's like, I see you, like, pointing. I was like, okay, going for a building. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of move uh, all of the non-combatants to the edge here. You guys have, have runned off. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bye! Cowards! Uh -huh. I don't know about cowards. This is a, a pretty nasty lot going on here. Um, uh, yeah, now that I see all the reinforcements coming up behind the T-Rex, yeah. <laughs> they don't have a barricade to chew on anymore. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. T-Rex can't fit in those buildings. <laughs> but it can beat its head against the wind's lawn. Yeah, especially well, we, if it's really hungry. Well, we can go from one building to the next, like through mm -hmm. alleys and windows and stuff that are no longer there. Mm. Now, I will tell those of you remaining at the car, just this side of the T-Rex, it could be a very good thing if you could bring that T-Rex down. So, we're going to go to the next round. Said, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the DSR because uh, those just, wow, that very first roll really screwed everything up. Okay. Yeah.